The new edition of Writing with Hitchcock is now available, so this episode will be devoted to discussing some tenets of good screenwriting, or good storytelling in general. Some of these I've spoken about here before, like the important distinction between plot and story, on creating richly drawn characters, on the need to follow an emotional roadmap for your story, and on keeping your dialogue sparse and pithy. In movies and in drama, characters have to overcome obstacles. Now, sometimes these obstacles are physical, but most often, to achieve a powerful, lasting impact, the obstacles must be emotional ones. And Alfred Hitchcock and John Michael Hayes understood this. Now, the short story by Cornell Woolrich on which the film Rear Window is based might have made a fine episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, because there's no character development. Essentially, the story is just the Thorwald murder and this guy in a cast at a window who trips him up. Now, along came John Michael Hayes, and to the Woolrich plot, he added the story of a couple at a crossroads in their relationship. Lisa, played by Grace Kelly in the film, wants to get married and wants a commitment out of Jeff, played by James Stewart. But Jeff fears taking their relationship to the next level for any number of reasons. She expects me to marry her. That's normal. I don't want to. What's abnormal? Oh, I just, I'm not ready for marriage. Every man's ready for marriage when the right girl comes along. And Lisa Fremont is the right girl for any man with half a brain who can get one eye open. But as Jeff sees Lisa taking risks and sees firsthand that she can be cunning and how deeply she becomes involved in his amateur sleuthing, he warms to the idea of a lasting relationship with her. And when Jeff is faced with the prospect of losing Lisa permanently when Thorwald attacks her... Please? Stella, what do we do? That's when he knows he can't live without her. John Michael Hayes' greatest contributions to the films he wrote for Alfred Hitchcock were richly drawn sympathetic characters. But more than that, Hayes brought a wit and sophistication and lightness to Hitchcock's work that had been lacking, particularly in his films at Warner Brothers. Not that there's anything wrong with the dark figures in those films, but it's clear that audiences connected more with L.B. Jeffries than, say, Guy Haynes, or even keeping with the same actor with a Ben McKenna over a Rupert Cadell. The Hayes films were the feel-good years. In screenwriting, the term for a character's change or revelation is the arc, or through line. Everything that happens in a story should be driving toward the character's pivotal moment. In Hitchcock's films, which tended to be romances, this pivotal moment usually occurs between the hero and heroine, often acknowledging something that we, the audience, have known all along. I know it. For instance, the emotional roadmap that John Michael Hayes set up in Rear Window is the conflict between Jeff and Lisa. And that came from John Michael Hayes' own relationship with his wife, Mel, who, like Lisa Fremont, was a fashion model, and at one time, for career reasons, he had put off marrying her. You kidding? She's a beautiful young girl, and you're a reasonably healthy young man. Now, when you're traveling along that road, that's when choosing the right words is critical. Movie characters reveal themselves through a combination of dialogue and action. Often dialogue is used for exposition, while action serves to reveal the character's reactions to obstacles that prevent him from achieving his goal. In Hitchcock's best films, though, his protagonists not only overcome the plot's obstacles through their own actions, but are provided with an opportunity to articulate their revelations, usually in the form of a confession. Oh, Lisa, sweetie, if anything had happened to you... Shut up, I I'm proud of you. Now, if a big part of the Hitchcock touch was his visual storytelling and his ability to put the audience into the heart of a situation, the Hayes touch was in crafting dialogue that conveyed emotion, humor, and story in as few words as possible. Thanks for all the comments, and please join the conversation at our Facebook page.